Hello everyone, this is Satvik and this video we will be discussing about one of the cool pivoting tool which is named as Ligolo NG. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter and LinkedIn. And if you want to be part of this channel community, you can check out my Discord server. All the links are in the description below. So if you've been following me on my Twitter, you would have known that I was I started, I bought, I recently bought OACP voucher and I started my preparation. And I'll be sharing out all my experiences and every uh, tip and trick on my Twitter platform because that's where it's instant uh, rather than YouTube. So make sure you're uh, checking me out there. So uh you know OSCP uh, if you if you have some idea like they give you some labs so those labs most of the uh, they are like pivoted so like you have an internal network like you have few machines which have external facing and some machines which are internal so like pivoting is an important thing uh, in exam it may not be the case but uh, for lab for solving labs and stuff uh, it's very important okay in, in exam also you may find it in uh, AD set but here it's very important so like there were so many legendary tools like chisel and sort of stuff but uh, those use a concept like proxy chains and the proxy change is very slow uh, but this legal ng is like uh, one of the best to like uh, once you start using this thing for uh, pivoting or like for lateral movement and sort of stuff this is going to be the best okay like tr trust me it's the best tool so like this creates some sort of like a vpn sort of interface and it's very easy to use like you set it up one time and that's it very simple so I'll leave the link for this thing in the description below. You can go and check that out. Like it's like a tunneling through a VPN. So you create an interface, okay, like uh, ETH zero sort of interface, and you compromise like on your compromised uh, machine. You upload a file called as agent. So okay, there are two terms here. So agent is something that you post it on your target machine, like which you compromised, and uh, proxy is an application which you run on your attacker machine. Very simple. Okay, so this is all how it goes. Like if you want, you can build it as well. Like how to set up also, everything is there in this uh, thing here. So you can just go and uh, copy paste them. So you are creating an interface called as Ligolo and then you are turning them, uh, turning that up. Okay, and this is uh, how you run a Ligolo server. So most of the time here we are running on a Linux. So Kali Linux, so it's going to be Kali Linux stuff. And uh, on agent in the sense, it's nothing but uh, your uh, compromised machine, okay, which has access to an internal network, very simple. Okay, and then you run, few, you will get some interface sort of stuff, you run few commands and that's it, very simple. So coming to this repository, so first you need to download few stuff. So you can go to the releases section here and you have like some versions here, like uh, your agent can be, you know, it can be Linux, Windows, it can be sometimes Darwin as well. Like I never dealt with Darwin machines, but it may, there is a possibility. So AMD 64 means uh, like, uh, like, uh, like general 64 bit architecture, ARM 64 bit, uh, AMD 64, ARM 64, you know, you have several versions here. You can download them, whatever you want. Okay. So uh, for proxy, most of the time as we deal with, uh, you know, uh, uh, Kali Linux machine, so you can go with uh, 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 them. So, okay, no issues. So, you can click on show 19 assets. So, there were a few other assets like proxy assets here. So, most of the time we'll deal with Windows uh, Linux, right? So, it can be Linux AMD 64 bit. But if you are running your Kali on Mac or sort of stuff, like latest version of Mac M1, which supports sort of stuff, you can you need to download ARM 64. So, just download them and just extract it. It's very simple binary. So now let me go back to my uh, network here. So you have my network here. So I have like agents here, two agents like Linux agent and uh, Windows agent and the proxy uh, binary. So which is for my uh, Kali machine. Okay, but before turning them on, you need to set the interface. So uh, just copy those commands from there and you can paste it in your notes. Okay, so I'm not even uh, uh, mentioning my username here. Like I just use some bash tricks. So just, I'll just mention my password here and uh, you know my interface is done so if i do an ip space a you can see there is a new interface ligolo here and then you need to turn this thing up okay so just run this command so ip link set ligolo up okay very simple now run the proxy okay but before that try to you know uh, uh, uh like try to transfer your agent file to your uh, compromised machine here my compromised machine is a windows 8 machine so this is a uh, simple network here so if i do an ls you have this my win agent windows 64 bit so i'll run a python 3 server and i'll find my ip 
I forgot my IP. So this is my TTH zeros IP. Okay, fine. Okay. So I'll do search util. Hyphen URL. Cache hyphen app HTTP colon slash slash paste. Uh, agent. I think the name may be a bit different. Agent and Win64. 64.exe and I'll name it, I'll save it like agent.exe. So just hit enter and you can see here like it's downloaded. So that's fine. So that's good. So now we set it up the interface. We transferred our agent file to your our compromised machine, which has an internal network. So let me close this connection and let me close all these uh, terminals here. Okay, so our interface is up. So just run uh, Ligolo ng. Uh, not legal engine like proxy sorry proxy self cert uh, and uh, l address like these are like some few options like you, you are mentioning a self certificate l address like these are some options you can go and read in the manual okay and zero 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 in the sense like i'm serving this on all the interfaces like i have like multiple inter for example you're running uh you are on a trahack me network so you'll have a different network so if you mention zero dot zero dot zero like you're meant you're serving it on all the uh you know like uh, all the interfaces and all your IPs and I'm mentioning the port 9001 so just make sure this port is not in use like sometimes you may be having a reversal on this particular port so make sure the port is uh, uh, fine for use okay so I'll just hit enter so you have an interface like this now let's come back and let's run this agent.exe so it's very simple agent.exe but in, in this Linux it's going to be dot slash agent so connect okay so sorry connect you just paste the ip okay you here you need to paste the ip to which you want to connect to okay so 9001 so make sure you are choosing the ip like as i told you right if i take a trahack network as an example so you may have eth zeros ip and tu and zero ip so make sure you provide the ip to which you can you know you have access to this uh, compromised machine okay so and ignore cert okay so these are some default options just hit enter and now if you come back here you can see an agent is joined it's a windows 8 machine uh, it's a, there's some ip and sort of stuff just hit enter okay so now you can type session here so here you can see some sessions like uh, this is an arrow mark like you can select but here there is only one thing here so you can just hit enter so we selected this particular host okay and now let's run if config so here we need to set an uh, we need to find an ip here so you can see uh, this is the normal line uh, 133 is our network and there is something like 175 so this is an internal network so just copy this okay and you can see the subnet as well make sure you note that subnet as well okay so what you need to do here is like you need to add this particular uh, subnet to your interface that we created so very simple so let's do this so I'll copy from it my from my notes okay so to just replace this thing like we are adding this particular uh, uh, thing to our network uh, to our uh, uh, what do you say this uh, interface okay so just paste it so i just added that uh, subnet to this particular uh, one net, uh, interface that we created and now uh, come come back to your uh, legolo ng thing and just click start that's it Okay, so it, start, it creates a tunnel and whatever you have, uh, whatever the internal network that you have access to this Windows 8 machine, you can seamlessly do that. Like, you no, know, don't need to mention like proxy chains and sort of stuff. Okay, you can just run like, for example, nmap. Okay, so nmap and for example, there's an IP like this. Uh, you can just do this IP, just very simple. Okay, like you don't need to mention anything like when you're doing with some sort of stuff like chisel and sort of stuff. This is very simple and streamlined. And it's also very fast guys like uh, like i thought like it's very hard to do pivoting but uh, like i used chisel in the past but it's sometimes it's very slow and it takes a lot forever to you know complete nmap scans and stuff but here it's like fairly uh easy and also it's very easy to set up so that's an important thing so you just download few uh, uh like a by an extra you know executable or a binary onto your compromised machine and you run that command and that's it very simple so that is it guys like how you can use ligolo ng like uh, i'll be sharing out more tools and stuff in the future so uh, if you do end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in these sort of stuff 
and uh, make sure you are following me on all my platforms so that you can stay up to date on whatever the content that i'm trying to post and uh, really thank you for watching this video till the end this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you bye